Today on Doc's Eye TV, we're going to get out of the deep water in Lake Pontchartrain. We're chasing speckled trout and redfish in the shallows on the shorelines. It's something that is very underutilized in the Lake Pontchartrain area. It's not always the bridges is the best place to be. A lot of times you can you can be very successful on the shorelines. We uh, Right now we got a big rainstorm just came through. Today it's nice and beautiful. The cold front's already through, but right in this video, we were fishing right before the front. Water was dirty, but the fish were there. What we had to do was pop out the, uh, break out the popping corks to get the fish's attention, and a great choice it was. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Doc's Eye TV. all the time guys today the water's a little bit stained after some rain this morning so we're gonna use popping corks today as opposed to jigging um, the popping cork we're using is made by boat monkey floats it's a uh, it's a real nice cork real durable it's got a lot of weight on the backside to make it float right it's got some nice beads the washer to make a lot of noise it's got the concave design so when you pop it really throws a lot of water we're using that about two feet underneath that cork we're using a matrix shad ultraviolet on a quarter ounce black flat Whenever you're fishing the shorelines like this, you like to, you want to focus on the shoreline itself, targeting points and coves, any kind of current coming around a point for the redfish. And then for the speckled trout, you're going to fish way off the shoreline. You really want to look for tide lines. You can kind of see them from slickness in the water. The, the speckled trout are generally going to be well off the shoreline. Don't forget your popping corks if the water's stained, it makes a tremendous difference. What it does is it gets the fish's attention, they, you, you, you're attacking all of their senses. And when they can hear that cork popping, a lot of times they might think it's a shrimp jumping out the water or some kind of bait fish escaping another fish, which gives them the, you know, lets them know to be looking for a uh, minnow of some sort or a shrimp because they hear it first and then they go find it second. So the popping cork can really, really help, especially in stained water conditions. neglect shoreline fishing and don't get stuck with just fishing the bridge. Also, right here in the background you can see that's the St. Tammany Fishing Pier. They just left a piece of the twin span open for the public to use, especially for people without boats. It's a beautiful little setup they got there. If you ever need any of your uh, fishing tackle or anything to go with anything, we got it right here at Dockside Bait and Tackle. And uh, Make sure to check out all of our other videos at www docksidela.com pick you up some matrix sheds and vortex sheds and your golden eyes at matrixshed.com until next time good fishing